What do you mean by think like a YouTuber? Thinking like a YouTuber is basically having the right mindset before you click record. That is just super important. When you um, are thinking like a YouTuber, you're always thinking, well, you know, how can I make my video more interesting so that people will stay with me? So you're going to think of different topics. You're going to go to some of the tools that are used so that, so that you will be able to find out what people are searching for. And then suddenly you're going to start uh, creating content. This content is just not going to be you talking, but you're going to be thinking a little bit like, how can I tell a story, visual storytelling? And this is just so incredibly important in YouTube. I mean, the biggest uh, YouTubers like uh, Logan Paul, like Mr. Beast, like PewDiePie, uh, those guys are always telling stories and they are magnificent in telling stories. And then they get you into their in entire imagination. Basically, right now, YouTube has taken over regular television. I do not know about you, Tom, but I, I don't have cable for about seven or eight years. Uh, my uh, entertainment is based either in YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu, and that is it. So the world has changed, and uh, Generation X and the baby boomers are still thinking, well, you know, I have to think, like, if I will be uh, trying to create some television. No, you're basically creating new, new ways on connecting with people. And the most important thing is learn from what other people are doing. If you watch a video and you liked it, make a note of it. What did they do? And always treat every video as an experiment. You do something in your video. Basically, the, the, the last six videos that you created represent your baseline. So, for example, if your baseline, your, the, the, the average of your views of your baseline is uh, 200 views, your goal is to try to see, well, possibly this, view, this uh, video had 300 views. How, what did I do that actually worked to, to get 300 views? And then you're learning on every single video that you're creating. So having the mindset of a YouTuber is learning to every and, and accept failures. I mean, I have done some videos that have done very well and some videos that have absolutely bombed. And uh, every, every time I learn from them, I always try every video. I try to make it better. Every video, I try to make it better. Now, this work, I do a little bit more because the essence in YouTube is do more of what works and less of what doesn't work. That is more or less what I mean with uh, thinking like a YouTuber. So when we're talking to companies who have a YouTube channel, Sometimes companies are going to be a little conservative. Their marketing department doesn't want to get in trouble. Their CEO doesn't want to seem like they're, they're too edgy. What should companies do with the content that they're putting out? Because I love this thing of think about YouTube. You said, think about YouTube for new ways to connect with people. And yet, does that work for a corporation? Absolutely. Well, I think it's, uh, it's incredibly important for any corporation to, to get into that. And once again, the important thing is to use YouTube as a, as a way to bond with your uh, prospective uh, company. And uh, the important thing is that you use visual storytelling to tell more about what is what your uh, company can do for uh, a specific target market or what is it what they are doing. So you, I think it's, a, it's not a bad idea. And this is just something that I definitely would recommend. Uh, just hire an intern possibly for a summer, just hire somebody which is into video, uh, into creating uh, different kinds of, uh, uh, of video uh, uh, content, not social media, because this is a big mistake. Don't put YouTube into the social media basket, because it's not. You, uh, YouTube is a library, same as Pinterest is a uh, gallery. Uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Snapchat, Instagram are a thief. So what happens is if you post something in YouTube, it's going to stay there for a long, long time. And people are going to be able to retrieve it years after you have posted it. In social media, you post something and uh, it could be your, your uh, daily dishes in the restaurant. In about three days, that post is going to be gone because everybody's actually posting on that same feed. So you need to think completely different. So don't get an intern, which is a social media manager, hire somebody that has an interest on video and tell them um, and ask them questions, ask them questions about storytelling. Let them show you how the whole thing works. This is what I 
teach my uh, the my clients, you know what? You have to think a little bit of reverse mentoring. Hire somebody which is uh, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, somebody which is just on age to be um, uh, employed. Get them for a summer or for uh, three or four months. Ask them questions and let them, well, you know what? We want to take our company to YouTube. What kind of content we can create? Because, you know, I mean, I could talk about some advice, but every company is different. But if you understand just these, these principles and you're open for a younger generation to teach an older generation and behave like if you like if that would be Yoda and you will be uh, you will be uh, Luke Skywalker, learn from them, listen to what they have to say. This is exactly what I have done. I've been learning from kids and I love it because they have opened opportunities that I would have never under my own way of thinking, discovered myself. <laughs> so Ernesto, what last piece of advice are you burning to share for companies or individuals who want to grow on YouTube? Get started and don't quit. I mean, it is a, it is a long uh, term thing, but once again, you're creating a library. You are going to be putting together content and uh, every piece of content that you're going to be creating at the beginning, it's going to be crap. And don't get discouraged. The more that you create content and the more that you understand how powerful video would be in the years to come. I mean, we have been predicting for a number of years that it's going to be the year of video. It's going to be the year of video. Well, the year of video already passed. <laughs> I mean, right now, it's just how it is. Right now, most of the, of the uh, co uh, consumption of content on the internet is actually done by video. And uh, also, once again, think of YouTube as you are having the opportunity of having a broadcasting company at your disposal. It's, a, it's an incredible tool. And uh, as a last piece of advice, if you would like me to help you, connect with me. 